Hello and welcome to the second sock tutorial. Today we will be doing the leg of the sock. If you have not done the previous videos, there's a playlist below. So please just start from the beginning. There's a prep video to let you know everything you need. My name's Tina. Welcome to this little tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. I've got a little bit of a different setup this time, so I'm hoping it's going to be clearer. I'm sorry some of it was fuzzy last time. So you should have the ribbed cuff of your sock done and should be ready to start on the leg. So this part is really easy. So all we have to do is just knit. So I'm just going to do that last stitch, I left it undone because I didn't want to lose my stitch marker. Oh, and there it goes. So we are just going to start knitting all the stitches all the way round and that's as easy as it gets really. <laughs> so this is a nice easy part of the sock. It suggests that you knit the leg of the sock for 6 inches. What I would suggest is when you are pulling your socks out of your drawer, your ready made socks, to think about which socks you usually go for first, which ones you find the most comfortable, and actually think about what it is about them that you find the most comfortable. Is it the length of the leg? Do you usually go for a shorter leg? Or do you like a longer leg on your sock? So you can really make them custom fit to what you like. Please excuse the plaster on my finger. <laughs> Knitting is not an extreme sport. <laughs> that was a cooking injury from last night's dinner. <laughs> that has nothing to do with knitting. <laughs> So we're just knitting, just all the way around. I'm really looking forward to seeing the leg of my sock actually because I've not, sti I've not knit with this yarn before. So I'm interested to see how these colours are going to progress. At the moment it looks like I've got a bit of a spiral going on. So I think it might end up spiralling down my leg. I would love to see your pictures on Instagram. We have got a hashtag simply knit cow and um, it's really lovely to see the pictures on there. So please put your pictures up if you can. It's very selfish of me because I love to see them but also I think it's fantastic encouragement for everybody else who's starting knitting just like you if they can see how other new knitters are getting along. And also I'd like it to be a bit of encouragement as well and a bit of a, this is our little group, our little knit group. So even if you don't know someone, please put, press on the heart to show that you enjoy seeing the picture and perhaps leave a little message of encouragement. And also I think it's a good place where because I'm in the UK and there's a lot of people from all over the world doing the knitting that different yarns and things are available so I think it's nice to for you to comment on the yarn you're using and how you find it so I think that would be useful to other knitters in your country so they can know what to try next time if they're not liking their yarn if they want to swap it you can give them a heads up on if yours is a good one to try especially as the price range varies so much. It's nice to know what you should expect from what you pay and sometimes there are some good, more affordable yarns out there that we sometimes we don't know whether to try or not. So if somebody 
has used them and says they're good then we can give them a go so yeah please comment on there on each other and encourage each other along the way so I have come to the end of that first knit row so I'm just going to pass my stitch marker over and then just start the next row and that's how we carry on <laughs> As I say, this is such an easy part of the sock. She says she comes up to the bit, went a bit wrong last time, just caught a bit of that yarn. This one's quite good actually, when you have got different colours in your yarn, you can actually see if you have left some of the last stitch behind like that one. Like I said before, this yarn does seem to be quite splitty. I can see from that, if I can bring it closer, I've got that little strand, I can see from that that the orange was below, so that's the remnant from there, so not to knit that, just let it go because it was caught by something else. So that's where it can be helpful if you're just doing a one colour and you see a strand of yarn, sometimes it can take a moment just to think, is that a stitch or is that a little piece that was left behind. So I'm just going to carry on knitting around here. I've got a bit off piece. Sorry, I do tend to drift with my knitting. I'm not in my usual <laughs> space of how I knit. I must say though that it is a little bit more comfortable in this position so I hope it's better for you as well. Please leave me a comment below and let me know or press the like button if you found this video better than the last one in terms of how you can see the project because obviously different devices we all watch on shows up differently so sometimes I don't know what you can see. So I'm just going to carry on for a little bit more and I'll jump ahead and then you'll be able to see what it starts to look like. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I always try to reply within 24 hours. If I don't, please give me another nudge. <laughs> Life sometimes gets in the way, but just in case I've missed it, especially if you're waiting for help with your knitting, I really want to get back to you as soon as possible. And I really don't mind if you say again, I left you a message, you haven't replied, that's fine. Um, and also, if you if I reply to a message and you send me a message back and I've missed it, please sort of do a new message because sometimes, because it's further down in the comments, I sometimes miss those and it can be a while before I see them and I think, oh, I didn't answer that one, I didn't even see it. So, yeah, always give me a nudge. If after 24 hours, if you're waiting for an answer, please give me a nudge because I really don't mind at all, that's fine. So, I've done a few rows now, so I'm going to show you how it's looking. So hopefully yours is looking the same. So we've got where the ribbon finishes and then we've got the new line of just knit stitches. So we're just going to carry on with those for either six, six inches from the top of the cuff down. So... Please carry on with that and I'll see you in the next video. I'm intending to get this done so I can do it, record another video next weekend. So it should be with you on Monday. So if you want to keep up with the speed I'm going, that's your mission to get that leg done in the next week. So good luck with that. As I say, any problems or anything you want to talk about, then please just do a comment below. I'd love to chat with you. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining me and have a great time knitting. Bye for now.